Hello and welcome to our new playlist. In this new playlist, we are going to discuss about promotions management. Now, in this entire uh, journey of learning about promotions, we would take the first step about understanding what is IMC. IMC stands for Integrated Marketing Communications. Fine. As the name suggests, I, that is integrated okay integration means bringing multiple elements together bringing a lot of things a lot of elements which are into promotions as in management terms as in marketing terms we call the promotion mix so we bring all the elements of promotion mix together and bring them into our marketing strategy and marketing communications right so that makes imc a very dynamic, a very powerful tool in the armory of all the marketeers. So let us try to understand what is IMC in the first session. So what are we going to learn in this session? Let us see the learning outcomes. The first one, you would be in a position to explain the concept of IMC. Then you would be in a position to identify the ca campaigns run by various companies and classify them as IMC. Then you would be in a position to define what is IMC. Simple, moving ahead. This is a basic definition of IMC. You can pause the video, you can read it. Okay, I'll read it for you once. It is a strategic business process used to plan, develop, execute, and evaluate coordinated, measurable, persuasive brand communications programs over time with consumers, with customers, prospects, employees, associates, and other targeted relevant external and internal audiences. Okay, so to put together, okay, we are just talking about three things. Okay, the first thing is about the development, creation, persuasion, okay, all these things. Number two is the message, the communication, okay, and number three is the stakeholders, okay, all the multiple stakeholders whom you could think of, okay, be it the customers, be it the consumers, be it the society or the community in large, okay, any kind of even employees, associates, customers, okay, any stakeholder. So number one is designing the communication. Number two, the communication itself. Number three is the stakeholders, okay? So the entire process of doing this is called IMC. Then what is the importance of IMC, okay? Why is it important? Why is it gaining popularity over time? Let's see the first one. It plays the entire IMC process. It plays a very large role in communicating the brand message to a larger audience. Okay, you have a brand, you have a message behind a brand. You need to create positioning in the minds of the consumers with respect to a brand. People should think about your brand, create an image about your brand in their minds the way company wants them to think about. They need to build brand associations. They need to have that brand equity. So the sources of brand equity could be generated through IMC. Okay. So if you want to drive the message of the brand into the minds of the consumers, IMC is one very important and powerful medium to do so. Then what the IMC goes a long way in creating brand awareness among the customers at a minimal cost. Okay, the entire process of IMC can help you create brand awareness. People will know your brand at a very minimal cost, cost optimization. Then IMC scores over other traditional forms of media as it focuses on not only winning new customers. Okay. Here, the intention is not just winning new customers. It's also about retaining and maintaining a healthy relationship with the existing customers. What the intention here is that your existing customers 
could be your most powerful brand ambassadors. They are happy. They are satisfied. We have a good relationship with them. We can go a long way because these are the people who can bring in that force within the brand to attract new customers. Then integrated marketing communications saves time, which is often lost in figuring out the best marketing tool. Okay. Now the point is, should I go for newspapers? Should I go for billboards? Should I go for TV? Should I go for mass media? Should I go for PR? Should I go for uh, social media? Just thinking about all these things kills a lot of time of the entire marketing team. So if I go for IMC, integrate multiple things, the time is saved. A lot of time is saved, right? So next is the IMC tools. What are the tools that I have in my hand to implement my IMC? One is advertising, right? Very simple. You can advertise, advertise on multiple platforms, whether it, it is TV, whether it is radio, FM radio. Okay, it can be on YouTube can be on any other social media. It can be on billboards, outdoor advertising, transit advertising. Okay, just think of it, do it. Okay, that's a part of IMC. Then direct marketing, direct marketing, go to the customers directly. Okay, do whatever you want, reach the customer. Your message should reach them. Then you have interactive or internet marketing. Okay, a lot of stuff can be done over the internet. You can go ahead with your Google ads. You can go ahead with your Bing ads or Microsoft advertising, okay, you can go for Facebook advertising, do whatever on the internet, okay, go for content marketing, write blogs, okay, whatever you are doing on internet can be a part of your IMC tool, then sales promotions, give offers, discounts, buy one, get one free, also a tool in your IMC, then you have the publicity or public relations, hold press conferences, okay, hold new product unveilings or product launches okay anything all these are publicity or public relations stunts then you have personal selling you can have your direct sales force going to people one to one door to door asking them to buy your products giving demonstrations to your products taking interviews okay seeking for interviews from the customers giving them personalized product demonstrations all these could be part of your IMC tools. Now, why do we need IMC? What is the objective? Okay, what can be achieved out of IMC? Number one, brand awareness, obvious thing. Okay, you bring in so many tools, you drive in the message through multiple sources, multiple mediums. And what do you want to achieve out of it is brand awareness. You want people to know about your brand. Then change beliefs. Okay what people think about you, what people, what opinion they carry about you, what image they have about you. All these things could be changed or transformed using IMC. Many a times brands were in crisis. For instance, Cadbury's. Okay, there were some instances where Cadbury's was in crisis. Dairy milk, the chocolates were in crisis because of some insects found in the chocolates. Okay, then again, the Cadbury's brand took over IMC to change the opinion or change the beliefs of the people. They wanted to mend the, you know, damage that had occurred to the brand. Same thing happened with Maggie. Lead was found in Maggie. It was banned. Later it came back and then it had to change the beliefs of the people. Again, what was the medium they chose? They chose IMC. Then shaping the brand image. What people think about my brand? What is the opinion they have? What's the positioning? Okay. What kind of image they carry about my brand? What do, what are the associations they make uh, about my brand? So all these things, all these things shape the brand image and IMC can achieve it. Then influence attitudes. Okay. What kind of attitude people have about my brand? about my product, about my company. All these things can be molded in my favor using IMC. Then obvious thing, okay, set your cash registers tingling, okay? Your cash registers should make that ring, okay, it should ring. Now how the IMC can bring in new accounts, can bring in new sales, can bring in new customers, 
can bring in new business for your organization. And again, IMC can add new customers. That's what I told you in the previous point as well. Okay, you can have a new portfolio of clients in your account, then increase your market share. The powerful, the more powerful your IMC campaign becomes, you can grab or you can increase the market share. Okay. Then you have had subscribers. This is just like adding new customers. Okay. Some business models go on subscription base like newspapers or magazines or the OTT platforms. So the more powerful your IMC campaigns are, hit the customer, catch hold of the customer from all possible angles, from all possible areas, and then you get more subscribers. Some review questions. What is IMC? What are the reasons for growing importance of IMC? Discuss the various tools in IMC. What are the objectives of IMC? I want you to write the question, answers for these questions and you can drop these answers in the comments. I would definitely go through them and give you feedback on them. Thank you for watching. Do like, share and subscribe and spread the good word about it. Thank you.